I love that. Sounds up my alley. Salem Psycho, thank you so much for the call. Brandon is actually also in Salem. He's writing a book series called Dark Mysteries of the Paranormal, which is also based in Salem. Tis the season. Hi, Brandon. Hi, how are you? So what is Dark Mysteries of the Paranormal about other than, like, the exact title? What's, what's, happening, <laughs> what's happening in the book? Yeah, um, so Dark Mysteries of the Paranormal is about, it's based in Salem, and it's basically about, like, the spooky happenings that happen in, in the town, like witches and um, demons and ghosts and, like, otherworldly beings and um, how they all kind of, like, collide with each other. And um, it's actually been, because I'm actually, um, the first three books are now available on my website, uh, which is uh, darkmysteries.org. Okay. And, um, uh, which is called, the first three are called The Brave and the Wicked. The second's called The Ghost of Kyle Sugarbaker. And the third one's called The Rainbow Dimension. And um, and the, the great thing about about these these stories is that, yes, it, de it deals with, like, the spookiness of, of like, you know, what goes on for the year, and the third one's called The Rainbow Dimension. And um, and the, the, the great thing about about these these stories is that, yes, it, de it deals with, like, the spookiness of, of like, you know, what goes on for the night, but it also talks about a lot of those social issues. Even though, you know, even though, even though you're a witch or maybe you're a vampire, but you're still, you still have to, you're still dealing with a lot of, like, um, worldly issues like you know like racism and homophobia and and you know transphobia and you know sexism and then how they kind of like go through and how they deal with that the great thing about it is that you know being a witch you know if somebody wrongs you you have the power to kind of do something about it so like right. uh, I yeah. was, you know <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with a bad witch you know what i mean right exactly exactly and you know and again like it's it's going to be it's it's a really really like Th these these books are very like you know it shines a light on I guess you can say like characters that you wouldn't normally see as the main character mm -hmm. like LGBTQ people like you know they're always being put in the background or the non-existent in these kind of books. Um, that's part um, of the reason I, I love. That's to, part of the reason I love the the novel Wicked because what was her name mm -hmm. Elgaba? Oh she, yeah, the, was, the, yeah, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. It was Elba yeah. something. Uh, anyways, Elba. Alfalba. Alfalba. Alfalba, yes. All right, Brand. Well, listen, yeah. um, I feel like I've made you out of breath. You've talked a lot. But thank you so much uh, for calling and talking about your books. You can find them at darkmysteries.org. And, 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 you know, like I said, it's spooky season, so these would be a perfect read. Are you from Salem? Yes, and I, I, I want to give a shout out to um to Nick. Uh, he was right before me. I know he's a friend of mine, and because I'm, I'm also a busker in Salem, because I dress up in spooky costumes. I dress up as Pennywise. <gasps> I do like a lot of different uh, uh, characters. I, so shout out to Salem. Shout out to Salem. Awesome. I have I have two two photos with two different Pennywises from the last couple of years. So I wonder yeah. if it was actually you. I mean, probably was one with probably one with me. Probably, That's yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, by the way, Pennywise yeah. is my favorite of all time. I wear a Pennywise hoodie, and, yeah. and Santi hates it because it <laughs> stares at him. Uh, you didn't go to Salem High, though, did you? I did not. Um, I, I went to school in Boston, unfortunately. Okay. But like you know, but I love Salem. It's awesome. The spooky season's coming. The spooky season's here, actually. It's here, man. So come on down to Salem and have a good time. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. We appreciate. It. Imagine that's how enth 